What's up, y'all? It's Brandon, obviously, coming to bring you Active Pigeon today. Active Pigeon is going to be reminiscent of our lizard pose uh, with a little bit more movement. So we're going to come and actually into our lizard pose, and I'll show you that from the side and the front. But lizard pose will be here. Entering your lizard pose, be nice to your hips, right? We're moving, we're going to be definitely focusing on our hips here, so don't feel as if you have to like jump in a lizard. Right, hands coming down right here is a great way to do this pose. And because we'll be moving the knee, I'll try to show you that here. But notice my knee is down here. If for you, this is just like intense, even just getting your hands to this position, it might be best to keep the knee down as we do this active pigeon stretch. Um, but pigeon is, is, a, is about an outward rotation of the hip. So pigeon is going to be bringing the knee wider than your hip, right? And so if that's hard for you to do in the full lifted variation, try it with the knee down, right? So I'm gonna bring, and I'm gonna turn now that you see me, kind of what that looks like. And I'm gonna lift my knee, as you can see through this little hole here, right? That I'm stretching through this left side of my leg, right? And keeping the knee over the ankle. But in the active pigeon part of this, you see that's first for you to see the stretch, the knee is lifted, right? Maybe even bring a block or something underneath your knee to help you with this, if this is a lot, or just drop the knee down, right? But the active pigeon part of this is going to be me bringing oh, like my a lightness to my fingertips, keeping the hips low and feeling that length and that natural length in the left side, but bringing my right hand to my knee, keeping the feet active and flexed, and then moving the knee out to the right, then back to center, out to the right, and back to center. I'm gonna do this about 10 times, just three. Trying to keep this back leg straight and everything up. Four, five, Six. Nice. Starting to feel it. Opening up the hip in the right side. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Right? See, so actively opening. And then maybe in rest, bringing the foot closer to center and coming closer to my regular pigeon where both hips are square. And you'll notice I'm closer to the, my chest is in line with the top of my leg. This might be really intense for you. So if you're coming out of this and want to go into a little bit less of a pigeon, drop the knee down first, then scoot your foot over, right? And place the knee down. From there you can fold and rest.